The idea for Warzone kind of evolved over time, but it started way back on Halo 4. So when I joined the team, Warzone was just a pitch. It was something floating out there that we wanted to jump on. It was a what if we were able to combine all of the best parts of Halo into one multiplayer mode, it, it would be awesome. You go online and there would be people talking, you guys need to build the most epic multiplayer experience. But we knew the challenge it was going to be on us to build a game like this. We knew we wanted to focus on competitive, but we also wanted to create something new. So when Halo 5 came around, we said, let's go after this. Let's make the ultimate Halo toy box. And we really pulled it together into this all new massive mode called Warzone. Here we go. We're back. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. Warzone is everything in one package. You have two teams of 12 Spartans meeting in battle on epic scale maps. You have the enemy AI, you have vehicles, you have bosses that will enter the battlefield at key points, and the entire time you're trying to capture the most victory points for your team. The guiding principle for Warzone was the blend of PvE and PvP. So there's all these different ways that you can contribute as a player, depending on what your own individual playstyle is, and all of it is contributing to your team score and your team's success. Your goal as a team is to get a thousand points or destroy the enemy team's core. Close lock, keep contact for Nice job, Red. The maps in Warzone are huge. We have maps that are four times as big as any map we've ever built for Halo. It's really a careful balance of making sure that we have large spaces for incredibly epic combat, but at the same time not have it feel sparse. When you start a match at Warzone, your base is overrun by enemy AI. You have to clear your home base out. And when you go out into the war zone, you have all these choices at your disposal. It's like, do I want to go and capture a base or do I want to go and do combat with a boss? Each team on their side of the map has an armory. And then we've got a garage right in the center. The main advantage of the garage is that it is a place that's further ahead in the battlefield where you can spawn vehicles. If you can manage to capture the three objective bases that are on the map, that allows you to then access their base and destroy the power core that's at the center. I need help in the core. Watch on the corner. Wow, they're on our core already. It's a way for a team that might be out of the battle to come back from near defeat and score that last second victory. One of the coolest new aspects of Warzone is having these bosses on the battlefield. You'll be playing the match and then you'll get a notification that a boss is coming in. And for the really good Warzone teams, they're gonna to wanna to focus on those bosses right away. We wanted to bring personality into the bosses and fit them into the universe. Giving them names and giving them a backstory gives the player a sense of accomplishment. These are characters who are a big deal within their own faction. You've got Baron Sharom who's patrolling over the uh, battlefield in his Banshee, and when he comes out, that's a moment. When he spawns, everyone's like, Baron's out, Baron's out! And everyone's running over, right, and trying to get the Baron first. You're gonna then have to decide in this boss fight, do I focus on killing the boss, or do I focus on trying to fight the other team off of the boss? There's certain points in the match where that next big legendary boss kill is gonna determine who wins the game. We wanted there to be a sense of balance in there for what power items are able to be brought in at what times. Everyone goes into Warzone and they want three sniper rifles, you know, four scorpions. <laughs> How do we handle it? How do you balance that? The requisition system is a brand new reward system. It lets you become more powerful as the game progresses. Everything that you're doing, all the kills that you're scoring, capturing bases, all of those things are helping you gain additional rec levels. So within your home base and each one of the three objective bases on every Warzone map, you have requisition stations. If the player has rec cards in their inventory, then they can go to the terminal and use those cards to get all of the best items from the Halo sandbox. Rec cards you earn through any type of multiplayer experience. So if you're playing Arena or you're playing Warzone, we will be giving you rec packs as you go up the ranks. You'll get a requisition pack and there'll be random things in there, everything from weapons and vehicles to be used in Warzone to cosmetic items you can use both in Warzone and Arena. So as I level up within the match, I get access to the higher level cards that are in my inventory and I can use that Scorpion card or that Banshee or that rocket launcher. 
No more like fighting for that one spot on the map where the scorpion tank spawns. No, I bring my scorpion tank in with me in my wreck collection. But you don't just get to start the match and call it in and just wreck house. You gotta actually take bases, get points. And as the battle gets crazier and everyone's leveling up together, your choices get bigger as well. In some ways, Warzone is a Halo player's dream because it's bringing together all the best parts of Halo in one multiplayer experience. We want to make sure that Warzone has something for everyone in there. If you want to defend a base, you can do that. You want to go after the biggest and baddest bosses and work with a few teammates, you can do it. If you want to protect your teammates from afar with a sniper rifle, and if you want to fly a vehicle around, you can do that in Warzone. It's this crazy mode where anything is possible. It really just feels like you have jumped into a hot zone. Dudes are running in, there's rockets flying everywhere, and it's just total chaos. When we see the Banshees, the Scorpions, and the Mantises all out in the battlefield and everything is going bananas, that is my favorite part of Warzone. I can't even tell you how exciting it is. Xbox One, now 349.